you're going to hear about today is nothing short of a miracle. It's dramatically new. Made possible only through years of research, invention, and innovation. Cliche. G'day folks and welcome to episode 3 of World in a Jar and I tell you what I'm really really enjoying this episode so far or this series I should say. Now the one thing I did ask of you guys at the end of episode 2 um, was if you knew to post in my comments below about the jar of water and where the heck the sponge is. Um, unfortunately nobody knows so that is still a mystery. I was also looking through the quests that are to be done. Um, I think some of them here I have covered, uh, even though it was just kind of completing what had been started uh, anyway. And that was, uh, we've got the pumpkin farm going, we've got a melon farm going, we have a wheat field, sort of, and a sugarcane farm as well. And this is pretty much, give or take, it's an infinite water source, because you can collect from anywhere and it will be fine. It will, it will go all flat again. So that covers that. Now I did also, I know I'm speaking very quickly, uh, but I do want to get through a few things today. I also made myself a bucket of water here. Uh, it didn't take much. You guys know how to make a bucket, three iron ingots in a, in a little downward arrow. Um, because the other, another quest is the cobblestone generator, which I mean, That's a cobble bottle. We're going to have enough cobble, but it is, it's one of the quests. So I think I've got this around the right way. Basically you have to, uh, just to explain it, you have to have the lava come to the water. If you have the water going to the lava, then you'll turn into obsidian. So the way you do that is the water is now going downhill. It's not going straight ahead. Whereas the lava should be going straight ahead. Hence, the lava goes to the water, the water doesn't go to the lava. There we go. Fantastic. So cobblestone generator done. And I'm pretty much just going to ignore that from now, I believe. Okie dokie. What I do want to do today, though, is start sorting out the animals. Uh, and the main thing I'm going to need to do that is a buttload of fences. So while you guys get to listen to my favourite music again... I'm going to collect as much wood as is humanly possible in a not so boring time frame. I'm leaving that one because those ones bug me. Uh, and uh, I'll come back to you when I've got hopefully a buttload of, uh, of fences. <laughs> This is interesting, folks. Did stuff die? Is that one empty as well? Maybe these are being reserved for an update. I don't know. But I'm still going to have to uh, check for the sponge. Did I bring dirt? I didn't bring any dirt. That's right. I have plenty of it here. Inevitably, I'm checking up, so the uh, the sponge is going to be beneath me. We'll see. Well, let's have a look. And completely disobeying law number one of Minecraft. It's actually law number two, I believe, isn't it? 
Okay, this is making a liar out of me as well. Hmm. Give me that wood. No resource goes to waste. Okay, big fat liar. Um, it's alright. It is probably beneath. Let's make sure this is all lit up, just so we don't get, get any mobs spawning. Any trees grown yet? Nope. Okie dokie. Oh, that was a semi big fat failure, wasn't it? Now, what was I planning on doing? Okay. So we've done we've done quite a few achievements today, which is fantastic, guys, isn't it? Um, still waiting for those trees to grow, though. I hate those big fat oaks. What I might do just so I've actually got it done until I need it is make my way over to the mushroom biome there. Mushroom Island minus mushrooms. Another uh, one of our quests is to grow a big red mushroom. So I'll at least build my way over. You know what? It's probably easier if I've, I've got a pair of, I've got a set of stairs here already. Um, yeah, so I'm going to uh, build a staircase, build a stairwell over there, just so when it is time to do such, I will be able to. Um, I'll be able to grow a big fat red mushroom. Okay. And in I am. Tanfastic. Alright, we got some mycelium here. Let's steal some of these mushrooms. Let's do a bit of a harvest. I've had a look into uh you know what it could could well have been Seth Bling uh, that was talking about the ticks as far as getting mushrooms to grow uh, it's a great video actually the way that it's set up automatic mushroom farm and what they do is actually build them on different Y levels because it's more likely that uh, the the random ticks will happen on a different Y level that's why if you do want to grow mushrooms it's best to place one on top of a pyramid How's that for a useless piece of information? Well, if you like mushroom farms, it's not overly useless. Okay, let's get back. So let's have a look. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, clearly. Eleven for nether down there. Then we've got twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. But I know that there's more than that. I know that there's more, unless it's a different version of uh, World in a Jar. Uh, this one is uh, GT Awesome Source. TG, no, GT, GT Awesome Source uh, created this one. And this, unless the cobble is the one that I am thinking of, one of the jars is supposed to be a maze. Uh, it does also say in the information from this, I, uh, I got this from Planet Minecraft, if you guys want to go looking for it. That, oh, see, yeah, there's another one over there. I've got to, that, I dare say, is probably the, and there's one all the way over there. Uh-huh, I knew there was more. Um, the villager, the NPC villager one over there, I reckon. Righty-ho. Oh, that's the jungle one. That's right, I have seen that from a distance. There is a jungle biome there as well. Uh, and uh, I actually uh, meant, to, meant to mention earlier that one thing that I did see on Planet Minecraft when I was having a look today, because I didn't want this uh, to be like my Skyblocks episode, episode 3 of Skyblocks, if you haven't seen it guys, skip to episode 4, I give you permission, um, but I had a look at what some of the, uh, the quests were. And uh, not that it's a quest, sort of, uh, but it is a prerequisite, again, sort of that any jar that's not made of glass must be entered from beneath, from below. Um, so I reckon there's a good chance that that cobble jar over there could well be the maze jar that I heard them speak of. 
which would be really interesting. I used to draw mazes when I was a kid. Uh, huge fascination with them. A Labyrinth was my favourite movie. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm actually really looking forward to finding the maze jar. I bet there's one more piece in here, isn't there? Where are you? Ah, there it is. Beautiful. Lovely. Do you reckon we'll have enough dirt? to open those jars up yet folks enough dirt and uh, wood to make the fences I don't know I might just keep going till daylight alright let's have a look let's see what we have actually got by ways let me just get rid of this stuff because I don't need it oh it's full all right so wood 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 oh I'm gonna have more than enough to make fences and I can make cobble fences if it comes to it as well I'm just gonna pop these in here for now until I actually organize my chest properly okie dokie so fences and a buttload of them do the fence Gotta do the fence. Uh, I wish this was voice activated and you could just say build fences. Fill inventory. Wham. Whammy. Bam. Um, it's only going to give me three, but that's a good start. That's a good start. Okie dokie. Get some dirt. So we're going to need that. Come on, guys, burn up. Aren't you hot? I'm still yet to check underneath, I know. I understand this. But we had to get this thing started started somewhere. Okie dokie. I'm not going to open this just yet. Hello, guys. I could at least start breeding them, though, couldn't I? Why won't you burn? Disco Inferno Skeleton. Where's the zombie baby? Where's the zombie baby? I can hear it. There it is. Ah, uh, they don't burn, do they? Oops. Okie dokie. This could be a huge mistake. 
It's just a creeper up there, isn't it? Yes. Fantastic. It's a start. It's a start, folks. Why isn't he burning? Is he standing directly underneath the bottle stopper, the, the, the jar lid? And that's why he's not burning? I think he's cheating. Oh, there goes the zombie. Poor little guy. What's, is the creeper still up there? I do wish I'd stopped doing that. Well, this is making a start to it, guys. I'm um, I'm probably going to finish this off camera. Um, I might just see if I can get rid of this skeleton, though, because that's just going to bug me. The fact that he's... How, how can he not be dying? How, how is he not burning up? I call hacks. Skelly hacks. Yeah, baby. And look at that. I got some bones. Actually, you know what, guys? Uh, which means I'd have three pieces. Yes. Let's do this thing. Another achievement, and that will make it the final for this series, this episode. I keep saying that, don't I? And that is... Um, let's just get that there. That's better. A fence there. I'm going to put some, actually put some torches here before I go. Boom, boom. Whoopsie. Yeah, that'll do. One there. Stick one there. Hello, chickens. Let's get one in there. I can't do anything yet because you guys will just run out, won't you? All right, let's quickly do this. The end of episode uh, three. Let's go and gr uh, grow a big-ass red mushroom, shall we? And I did it again. All right, let's run up the top. Beautiful. Let's just get rid of this. No obstructions, no obstructions. Is he going to grow in here? Let's give it a shot. We've got three shots at this. Is he the best? He is the best option. One, two, three. No! Epic fail! Oh well, guys, it was worth a try. I think we've done pretty well this uh, this series, this episode, and that's the third time I've done that. Uh, <laughs> uh, we've completed a few of our tasks, and we've built some land over by the animal farm. Let's just quickly have a, have a uh, bird's eye view of that, shall we? Look at that. That's going to be a nice big farm over there, I reckon. That'll be great. Um, still yet to find sponge pieces. Uh, we haven't found one today, have we? We've only actually found one in three episodes so far, but that's all right. That's all right. It's not the end of the world. Actually, 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 speaking of not the end of the world, let's just quickly do this while I'm here. Um... Defying the myth that it is no longer darkness that mushrooms need. You, it, it does not have to be dark for them to grow. They will grow. I guarantee. It changed in like 1.6 point something or other. Anywho. Um, but yeah, I reckon that's been a pretty successful episode today. Um, I don't know quite what I've got planned next episode. Uh, one of the other quests is to build a specific house. You do actually have to build a house for yourself. So that might be uh, key to episode four. 
All right, guys, so thanks for tuning in today. Leave any comments. Uh, let me know. Oh, look at that tree. That was good timing. Any comments below, uh, like, subscribe if you haven't already, and say good day to your neighbour.